So this is a home-built pole mount for my DIY off-grid workshop solar 400 400 watt solar panel array. I've just built it out of some scrap recycled bed frame material, some inch and a half square tubing that I picked up at the scrap yard, and hopefully you can see that pole over there next to the fence. That's just a piece of uh, oil filled pipeline, about a seven foot tall piece, two feet in the ground in uh, concrete with a pole down in the middle of it. And then I've also made this piece. This is the same, same type of pipe, about a 12 inch section I've made to fit over the top of the pole that's inside that pole out there. So this will be an articulating mount. I can turn it 180 degrees. I'll actually be able to turn it 360 degrees. Also with a swivel or adjustable angle. So I'm just going to adjust it twice a year. Summer setting and winter setting. A little more shallow angle in the summer and steeper in the winter. Just based on my location. You can look that up on a Google search for solar panel array angle uh, to find out the best angle for the location where you live. But this mounts on here with two bolts and then it'll be able to tilt. I've also built this it's not quite finished with a mount here that will go to this center piece of frame with an angle piece that'll bolt so after I find out the optimal angles, I'll cut a piece the proper length and drill the proper holes so that I can put a solid mount from the pole to the bracket that holds the solar panels. And then that way I can, I, I, I don't have to just rely on the tightness of the bolts. So I'm just getting ready to mount this onto the rack. And this is all, all steel, so it's pretty heavy. It's probably 60 pounds, I'm guessing. But I'm going to mount this on here first, leave these bolts fairly loose, get it up onto the pole, and then adjust my angle and tighten these bolts down. And then I've got to install the, uh, the four 100-watt Renogy solar panels. They're four 12-volt 100-watt panels. I'm going to wire them in series of two 24 volt panels and then parallel those. So I'll have 400 watts at 24 volts on this, uh, on this pole mount, adjustable pole mount for the solar panel array for the off-grid workshop. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Let me get this mounted on here with these two bolts. I'll take it over there and we'll put it on top of the pole see what that looks like. And I'm simply just going to use an app on my iPhone to find the proper angle. And for my location this time of year, it's saying 31 degrees. So that's what I set it at. I'll tighten these two bolts down to hold that angle until I can get a bar cut that will fit from this post mount up to this angle iron bracket here. And then if I cut that at the right length, when I bring this down, hopefully it'll I'll, I'll have to drill a new hole. So I'll have two holes 
for the two different positions, summer setting and winter setting. Now to keep it from swiveling, I have this plate I welded on here that I fabricated out of some quarter inch plate steel. And then these two brackets. This plate has five holes, 180 degrees out for east and west, 90 degree hole for south, and then 245 holes in between. And all this does is I have a pin for like a uh, receiver hitch and it just has a pin that goes down into that hole and that keeps it from swiveling so I can lock it in any of those five positions depending on where the sun is what time of day it is now this is completely manual there's nothing automatic about it but it is adjustable and that's going to allow me to get the most out of this 400 watts solar array for the DIY off-grid workshop. Now I just need to get the solar panels mounted onto the rack. I'm just using standard hardware that came with the Renogy 100 watt solar panels and I just drilled holes in the edges of the rack in order to accommodate the uh, pre-existing holes that are already in the uh, Renogy solar panels. This is how it turned out so far. I think it's going to work out really nice. 400 watts of solar, 24 volts going into the off-grid workshop. Adjustable bolt in tilt and I can turn it 180 degrees to adjust for the uh, different times of the day when necessary to maximize the use of this 400 watt solar panel array. Got to do something with these wires. I tidied these up on the back of the uh, panels there a little bit. But these wires weren't quite long enough for me to put them in conduit. I may end up doing that eventually. Just strap a piece of conduit to this uh, vertical pipe mount and then uh, bring it down and go underground across here. That's about six feet. And then up in through the floor into the uh, off-grid workshop. But here's kind of a look at the mount for you. Made out of recycled bed frames. Then a piece of uh, oil line piping into a concrete into the ground there. Click on the link on the screen now to follow another video of the solar setup for the DIY off-grid workshop, and we'll see you over there.